Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday, March 19th, 2014. All right, yesterday the uh, CPI showed us that there is virtually no inflation here in the United States and I want you to keep that in mind next time you go grocery shopping or fill up your car with gasoline. Housing starts pretty much in line no surprises there and really no surprises anywhere let's take a look at what's going on uh, across the big ponds to the west of the US across the Pacific we have kind of uh, mixed results uh, to really virtually flat and in Europe we're kind of mixed also and really virtually flat so I think uh, maybe everybody's just waiting for things to happen. And here we can see that, you know, Hillary would get real tough. But I want you to take a look at this if you ever get a chance. This is a very interesting video. Or the, I don't know if it's accurate or not. There's some arguments in the comments about whether it's accurate or not. But there's, uh, it's pretty interesting to see how the borders have changed over the last thousand years over in Europe whereas here they've been pretty steady but you know we have Canada to the north a good friend we have oceans on the east and west and to the south okay so let's go and take a look at what is going on here in the futures in the US looking virtually flat here for an open gold is taking a big digger overnight and oil is down 27 cents not a big deal but you know a um, quarter of a percent that's a that's a that's a move <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a decent move or a good move or whatever I, you know I just wouldn't say that all right so uh, it did a lot yesterday um, We'll put the A plus list up here and we'll go through and discuss open calendars on Amazon, Chipotle, Baidu, LinkedIn, and Netflix yesterday. And I decided I'm going to get out of IWM today. And this morning we have earnings on FedEx and, and we'll peek at those as we travel on through the A plus list. No um, CSSV2 trades have come up lately and that's kind of a shame I was looking kind of contemplating you know a long-term trade on Apple just because you know uh, theoretically there's an iPhone 6 coming out but you know I don't know if a bigger like this article is talking about here uh, I think it was here no it must not be there anymore I'm talking about um, you know that the killer iPhone iPhone 6 is going to be bigger have a bigger display I you know I just got an iPhone 5s in January and the, even for my poor um, eyes I wear reading glasses that are the 2.5s um, I don't have a problem reading that thing and I don't exactly like surfing the internet on it, but you know, first, if you got an app and you get a decent uh, text display, then I'm fine with that. Uh, so it's not here anymore. All right, um, back over to here. So I was contemplating a long term um, credit spread, you know, around it. This was around a 30 delta, I believe it was at the time. So I was just thinking about that, and you know, I only get $147, and I have to wait all the way until July for $147. That just doesn't sit well with me. So we're just going to stick with the shorter term stuff. And I contemplated, you know, for an investment, buying one share of Apple right now. But when I looked at the chart, actually, I wasn't all that impressed, especially if I take a look at a weekly chart. And I zoom out all the way it's not exactly at a bottom 
if you see what I mean. Let's get rid of all these drawings. Um, would have been much better here, of course. Hindsight being 2020, like it always is, not like my eyeballs. Um, that would have been better. So if that article is true about Apple, you know we might be back up here pushing uh, the previous high. And this kind of looks like a, almost like a cup and handle, which is the IBD favorite way of trading on a weekly. It's a, actually kind of a perfect cup and handle. Uh, I think it needs to be moving up here and then form the cup and then a handle and then a continuation. So maybe that isn't all that good of a cup and handle. But uh, I'm not going to do anything in that department at this time. It does pay a nice dividend, but you have to wait a long time for their dividend. Okay, um, anything else going on? Well, we might have a new uptrend forming here, but there's nothing for us to get excited about at this time. We're going to open gap up at the open a tad, probably today. Amazon, all right, I did a calendar here at 380. We'll take a peek at a chart and see what that looks like. So I'm anticipating um, a close around here tomorrow or Friday uh, let's see we're going to open probably looks pretty good up here so it's really hard to tell right now any CSS V2's no nothing going on there which is why I did the calendar Boeing no live trades there um, I think I got out of this thing didn't I, I don't, it's not in any account anymore no, it's not. So I can take these drawings off of here. So did to lose some on that. I'm going to uh, make a separate video on results so far this year, and we'll take a look at each individual, not trade, but each individual underlying and see how we've been doing on it. There's a way to do that, and it's a pretty easy way to do that in Thinkorswim. So I'll make a separate video on that. Not sure exactly. I can't promise when that's going to come out. Here's the calendar on Baidu that I opened yesterday, and that was a dollar cost a dollar sixty-eight. So that's going to be the max loss on that. And we're looking for a price to move here over the next couple of days. And if our momentum and stochastic hold true, it may just move up to there. If we get to, you know, like 166 or so, that would be a nice return on that particular trade. Uh, for a CSS V2, nothing going on. Maybe a target here if this downtrend continues, but we still need a full cycle in a new trend. So... We can't make up our minds here. Thus, the reason for the calendar. Sell gene. Uh, all right. I don't know why that was over there. Sell gene. We're looking for a target here. We're getting close to a possible setup. Not real clean. You know, we're not hitting our 20s and 80s here. So it's not exactly the way that I would like to see it. So my lines are gone at 70 and 30. I think I probably did not save that study set. So I'm going to have to redo that. I'm not going to waste anybody's time doing that here. Chipotle um, got into that calendar for $2.79. And we're anticipating a move up here. Um, we actually got a... No, this violation's here. So... Nothing going on for CSS V2 there. Costco. Uh, right. We could have gotten in on that with the CSS V2, but it would have been Friday, and I wasn't excited about that. And 
a stochastic was already on the second day below 20 so that although not a rule I'm not excited about that I prefer I prefer it to take a little time because we need time decay on our trades in order to make money so I took a pass on that one at that time so now we're looking going to be looking for another opportunity here so let's just move this puppy over to here and that'll that'll take care of that all right CVX um, I did this a couple days ago we're anticipating a move down here and it juked me out here so what's our risk on this a hundred and seventy some bucks so that might turn out to be somewhat of a loser we will keep an eye on it today because this is actually in April so um, we have some time on this one I put the arrow here, but I really, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this arrow around, uh, and I'm going to point that way, just so I know that it's out the next expiration and fake me out. All right, do we have any CSS V2? Yes, we do, actually. We have a setup. So I'll put a little cycle here. Oops, that's not a cycle. My target tool, which is a cycle. I'll put that up there. It's something to draw our eyes. We can double up on CVX. Okay, uh, Igor. Was thinking of a calendar there, but I chickened out. So. We have, this would have been a pretty sweet uh, that I, this was Friday, so I chickened out on it because it was Friday. So we'll have to wait for the next one. So we'll slide that, whoop, slide that over here. It's a little smaller. FedEx, uh, we are in this calendar here, and we have earnings at before the market opens. No excitement overnight, sort of a long bar here, but still nobody knows really what's going to happen here and how the market is going to respond to whatever their earnings announcement is. So I'm just going to hang in there on this. And I'll it's going to be kind of fun to watch what happens with that. Gold, we have our covered call. And we have kind of a big pullback. And we have a setup. All right. And not interested in doing a calendar on this one. Too much movement. Google uh, looked at a calendar and it just too dang expensive. I wasn't going to risk 600 bucks on one trade. So I took a pass on that. I need to, if you're going to do something, and it was pretty far out of the money. And it still was very expensive. So I took a pass on it. Now, we had a setup. Did I, did I write that down yesterday? No. I missed that. Shame on me. This is an alert now. So we're going to alert this. Um, yeah, totally missed this. Shame on me. You guys should have called me out on that. Well, actually, my mistake. We had a failed, there's a failed setup here. Oh. I have to remember to look back at this. I've done that before. Um, so that is not a setup. But I think I might have mentioned if you want to do like a 20. And here's how you would do that. Uh, the way that I used to do it, basically. 
Um, whether you can get something today or not, I don't know. Let me move this down a little bit. Uh, we would be looking for a delta around 20 here on the put side. Bolt put around 20 would put us at 11.97 and a half. 11.97. Probably would be okay. I mean, you have everything going for you here. Lots of momentum to the upside. You could do next week, too, if you wanted to hold a little bit longer. Uh, with a 20 delta, mm, we need more here. Let's see, let's do 28. We get a 20 delta at 11.82 and a half. I don't think that really helps you much with Google because... Um, if it's going to go, it's going to go. I mean, this is kind of unusual here. A little choppiness around earnings time. Uh, they just killed it at earnings. So, I mean, they're going to take over the world. Talk about Putin. Man, let's look at Google. So, um, that would be a 20 delta. Make a note of that. Should be some pretty good premium with this at the 55. So that, if we were to do next week, what would we pull in here? Let's just do this here. Uh, 40 cents. And our risk would be 210, and our reward is $40. How about this week? 20 delta. That would be here. That would be 45 cents. And you'd be holding a lot shorter time. Of course, you'd be... You would be up there at 11.97 and a half. Which, again, is up right here. I might do that one. I might do that one. I mean, if it's going to keep moving, it's going to keep moving. And CSS V2, you would be at the money. So capture some of that short-term movement there. So that's what I would do if I'm going to do something today on Google. All right, IWM. We have that... Um, long put for April that we're probably gonna sell today because I see this doing nothing but heading north uh, and um, we didn't quite get down here where we want to be so we're going to just keep an eye on that one for a while LinkedIn uh, yeah, there we go. Now, there's something wrong here. Because <laughs> we're, we're right at the sweet spot on LinkedIn. And this is where we want to be on Friday. So I'm anticipating maybe a little wiggle here. Because we are in a downtrend. So a little bit of a wiggle. Maybe up today. Maybe even up tomorrow. And then, boom, back down on Friday. So that's what we're looking for there. And really... We have a potential future set up here. All right. MasterCard. Nothing current. Um, man, these are really short-lived. That, that's like one day. Really. Two days on this. Of course, it's pretty flat. And look at MACD pretty flat. We have the MACD moving average and um, the short term all sitting at basically zero. So we have 0.34 and 0.1. Oh, uh, yeah. But I took a pass on a calendar on this because there was no money in it. <laughs> There's just... Uh, it's just there was no money in it. 
look at the IV percentile is 6. No money in that, in that particular underlying at all. Um, triple M. All right, we have a possible setup here, but I would, I'm not going to call it a setup today. Still need this to get above 80, and it can do it. It's done it plenty of times before. So I do need it to get above 80. Netflix, have a calendar on that one, which is right here, anticipating that. Uh, we're still in an uptrend. Might have a setup here sometime in the future. We'll watch for that. Priceline. Uh, we have a setup. This is alertable. No, it's not. We have violations here. So it is not alertable, but definitely another 20. And let's take a look at what that might be for this week. It would be at 1275. One to five risk reward at 1275. I could probably do that. We're getting some momentum coming back. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So that would be another one. All right. Almost done here, folks. I'm going to take a, well, take a pass on RUT and SPX. Let's take a look at SPY. I might take them out because I can't get these orders. I can't get my prices. All right, SPY, we have a calendar, live calendar on. And we're looking for a movement up around here, which is kind of a stretch, but when you look at it from this perspective, it's not all that much of a stretch. And we still, you know, might be able to get uh, 50 or 60 bucks out of this thing. And we've been in this for a while. So we're looking to, we're at um, $7.54 right now. And we have a very nice alertable setup here on SPY. So I'm going to put an alert here. Nice long tail here, nice long red one. Boom, and then, then a sweet little pop. And we're in the second day, so we'll put in a third, throw an alert on here. Just a couple more to go. Hang in there. Tesla. No, nothing live. Uh, nothing CSS V2. Uh, a possible 20 percenter, though. Or I mean 20 delta, <laughs> 20 percent. Uh, another possible 20 delta, and will we get anything here? You have to go 23. Just gonna see if it's going to be worth it. 56. That's not bad. So Tesla is another one. If you don't trade, you don't make any money. And if you're going to do this, you have to do a lot just to keep your um, numbers good. All right, and here, this actually is uh, sort of alertable. I don't know. I'm these Mastercard and Visa. I'm not, you know, IV percentile 25, and not not thrilling. Um, but this actually is. We had a trend change here, so there is no CSS V2, there's no 20 delta there. I wouldn't do a calendar on it either because I think that uh, this one also, there's not much money in it. So I'm going to call it quits for today. And uh, we have enough stuff down. We have um, 20 deltas. Um, and this is just the old way that I used to trade. And kind of going back to it because CSS V2s, there's not many out there right now because it looks like there might 
things might be topping or there might be there's a lot of trend changes going on and stuff so it's not real attractive at this time so you have to take what the market gives you so we fall back on our old 20 delta for now and but we do have setups on CVX and GLD and an alert on SPY for today so that's it um, have a great day thank you very much for watching and happy trading.